What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope you guys are having a great thirsty Thursday. We're getting close to the playoffs. Playoffs? Don't talk about the playoffs. Are you kidding me? Playoffs? Well, you know, if you listen to the talking heads out there, there's no point in the Dallas Cowboys showing up because it's already written in stone that the Dallas Cowboys will fail and that the Dak hate, I, I may have to say that the Dak hate or the Dak trashing, that he is literally being trashed about as high as possible. It was funny. I was sitting there listening to Colin Cowherd, who was talking about when you pay an average quarterback, he said $45 million. Dak Prescott's not getting $45 million. It's $40 million average. But the amazing thing is, is his cap number this year is only $19 million. $19 million. Last year, I believe it was $17 million. As opposed to, say, I don't know, Kurt, uh, excuse me, uh, Carson Wentz, who will say 29, or um, some of the other quarterbacks out there, like, say, Kyler Murray, who was way up there. But be that as it may, you know, he was only $5 million off on the compensation, but basically said that, you know, average quarterback, you pay him, you know, Kirk Cousins and things like that, that you just can't win because you can't bring in players and la da 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 and he's not a guy who can put a team on his shoulder and win. Okay. This whole thing has been taken to a whole nother level, especially by guys that could never hold Jack, Dak Prescott's jockstrap when you start thinking about Dan Orlowski. I don't know if you've noticed the Dak-isms, I call them. The Dak-isms, ways that they go through and they cherry-pick the stats and say, He's bad at this. And so, you know, even when they win, it's still not good enough. For example, remember when it was dink and dunk Dak? Well, Dak Prescott, he can't get the ball down the field. He's a dink and dunker, dink and dunkin. Well, they were 13 and 3 and winning games, but somehow that was trash. Have you heard dink and dunk used on any other quarterback? Have you heard it used on anybody, say, this year? Because that year when they were talking about Dak Prescott being a dinking and dunking quarterback, he averaged 6.8 yards per completion, right? Oh, Dak Prescott, man, he's dinking and dunking down the field. It's funny because I haven't heard them talk about Aaron Rodgers this year dinking and dunking because Aaron Rodgers this year had that exact exact 6.8 yards per completion that Dak did when they called him dinking and dunking 6.8 even crazier is I haven't heard them say Deshaun Watson is dinking and dunking this year who is 6.5 three tenths of a yard less than say Dak Prescott and I certainly haven't heard them say Tom Brady this year is just dinking and dunking. Who's at 6.4 yards. I certainly haven't heard them say Kyler Murray was overpaid for a dinking and dunking quarterback that is averaging just 6.1 yards per completion this year. I haven't heard that. I haven't heard that at all. So, they come up with these, you know, then it was empty calories. Yeah, he's got a lot of yards and leading the offense to number one, but they're empty calories. You know, they were behind and trying to catch up, and the other team had fallen asleep or something. I ain't heard anybody else, anybody else, empty calories. You know, I remember last year they were talking about how fast Matthew Stafford was to 50,000 yards. And you can look at that and say, he played with the Lions. They were always behind and always trying to catch up. Empty calories, anybody? Yeah. Now, we've heard Dak Prescott, you know, he, he can't put the team on his shoulder. He's got to have people around him to succeed. Well, you could look at Aaron Rodgers, who last year was the MVP, and had Devontae Adams. Doesn't happen this year. 
and he's dinking and dunking out of the playoffs and pretty sure he won't be MVP. But I haven't heard that. Not at all. Be that as it may, now we're focused in on interceptions. You know who led the league last year in interceptions? Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford had, I think, five or six pick sixes and 17 interceptions and was tied for first with Trevor Lawrence, I believe, for interceptions. And they won the Super Bowl. I'm not saying that Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys will win the Super Bowl, but see, it just doesn't matter what you do before the playoffs. I remember an Indianapolis Colts, because I'm old enough to remember an Indianapolis Colts team that's defense was like 29th or 30th, something like that, going into the playoffs, that somehow turned that shit on and became dynamic, helping Peyton win his first Super Bowl. See, playoffs are a different animal. It's getting there. Now, this one is the most craziest one that I have seen. Okay. Dak is, you know, uh, has had some interceptions. Some are his fault. Some of them aren't. But Dak has also had a third and 30 where they got 52 yards. In essence, a hail freaking Mary. The Dallas Cowboys have played more playoff teams this year than any other team. Let me say it again. They have played more playoff teams that are in the playoffs this year. They've played eight. Eight. And are five and three. It's a pretty good record for playoff teams. Here's Dan. I hate Dak Prescott, and I can make a name off his back. Orlovsky, who's got his quarterback power rankings, because he knows everything about being quarterback, like things you shouldn't do, like say, I don't know, run out of the back of the end zone, because that's a safety. Now, it's hard to argue with Pat Mahomes being number one. You can't argue that one. Okay, I can do that. Joe Burrow, number two. You know, he was in the Super Bowl last year. Josh Allen, although here's an interesting thing for you. Dak does have the NFL lead in interceptions. Dak has the lead in interceptions. He's got 15 with David Mills. Josh Allen, in, a few, in more games, has 14. You know, this year has not been a great year for Josh Allen. And you can look at it, look at him and say, he's got a lot of help out there. He's got an incredible defense. He's got, you know, Stefan Diggs as well as other targets out there that are helping him as well. Great offensive line. We got one great wide receiver, CD, who most people didn't think was number one. Our offensive line has not been one of the great ones. We do have a decent running game at times. Kirk Cousins is right there at 14. Josh Allen at 14. And so on. Other teams turn the ball over, but be that as it may. Jalen Hurts, who's played one game in the last three, who has not looked as great. That last game against the Bears, he had two interceptions that were bad interceptions. You got Justin Herbert, Lamar Jackson, who hasn't even played in forever, and I believe he hasn't won a playoff game either. Tom Brady, Daniel Jones. Are you kidding me? Trevor Lawrence, Geno Smith, and the Kirk Cousins. And then Dak Prescott. Let's listen into this bullshit right now. Already up on ESPN.com, ranked all the quarterbacks in the playoffs. And as you see, he has Dak 12th 
ahead of only Brock Purdy and Skylar Thompson. Dude, like, come on, son. <laughs> Stop it. Dan, come on, man. No. So there's some reaction here <laughs> to that. Bart, what is your reaction? Listen, everybody got at me because I didn't put him in the top 10 in the NFL. You're saying he's not top 10 in the playoffs? Yeah. I mean, come on. That's disrespectful. I, listen, he's a little bit more accomplished than that. You know, listen, Dan's my man, but I can't roll with you. I ain't with you when you ain't right. Uh, so, so, so I read the entire piece. They sent it to me yesterday. And he, he's pointing out the way the, they're playing right this minute. And, and, and it's not as much. We should do a thing on Mike and Mike called the confidence picks. How confident are you in this player in this particular moment? Not how good has he been historically. No one can sit here and say that Daniel Jones or, uh, or, or Kirk Cousins or, um, or, or uh, Trevor Geno Lawrence. Smith, you know, Trevor yeah. Lawrence have, are, are better players than Dak Prescott. But at this moment, okay, this year. are they playing better? Well, I mean, it, it's, it is a reasonable – I'm not saying I agree with it, but I'm, I'm, th- this is – I, I'm, I'm reading you what he wrote here. Ninko, take it in that context. What do you think of it? I, I disagree in a sense of you can't look at all these turnovers and put them all on Dak. Yeah. You know, you, there's a couple we're watching right now. They're, the ball's just batted up in the air, yeah. and the defender comes down with it. So you could probably take away four to five interceptions on, on the season. But wouldn't that be true of every quarterback? When I yeah. hear that up here, yes, of I, course. I, people say that, and then I say, well, let's go back and look at every interception yeah. every quarterback threw. At the end of the day, these things even themselves of out. Of course, but you also look at – you know, the production. So there's a production side of things right. here uh, that kind of maybe outweighs some of those bad throws. Mm-hmm. And, and, and again, I, you look at Kirk Cousins, uh, Daniel Jones, Daniel Jones ahead of him. Yeah. Like that that kind of doesn't even make sense just based on statistics. Yeah. You know, yardage, uh, yeah. attempts per pass, just those things in general would – probably put Dak a lot higher than yeah. where he's if, at. That, if that name on the back of the jersey said Brett Favre, who's probably had um, parts of his career I where think he, he had turned 27. the ball over, Dan would never put him there. Uh, perhaps. Give us, give us your thoughts yeah, on this. Look, I, mean, well. there are, I, think, I think Nico's point is really good. Like, that, like you talked about good, the bad, and the ugly. There, there's been a lot of good with Dak this year. And statistically, by a lot of measures, he has had a better year than – Trevor Lawrence, then Kirk Cousins, then Daniel Jones. Actually, probably not Geno Smith, honestly. Like, yeah. he's, he's way up there. Yeah. But I, I think, I, I, think I, I get the point Dan is trying to make, which is that Dak is playing poorly going into the playoffs, coming off a horrendous game yeah. and throwing way too many interceptions. All that is true. This is a little too much. But this is, so fair enough. So none of us good. agree with putting him as low as he is. But it does illustrate a point that all of us recognize. Also, which Lamar's is, not going to play. W- he uh, well, yeah, he, put, <laughs> he wrote that. He wrote in, in the he event that Lamar he played in six weeks. When he wrote that, we didn't know if he would play or not. But if the, yeah, Lamar Jackson right, right. probably won't play, which means there'd be someone else below uh, Dak in this. But let's, let's just use it to illustrate the point that we all clearly can see. And that is that this is not the Dak Prescott that we have watched play throughout his entire career. The mistakes he is making are uncharacteristic. We have sat here and lauded the pre-snap reads and all the good decisions Mm -hmm. that he has made. And what we're watching are, in many cases, not bad throws, but bad decisions. How do you explain that, Bart Scott? Well, he's pressing, right? You know, sometimes when players get paid a bunch of money, they try and validate the contract and understanding that when you get that contract, you are responsible for carrying the team. You have to become a force multiplier, like Tannenbaum says all the time. So what did he lose because of his contract? Potentially Amari Cooper. So that's, that means that his second weapon isn't always as open, so he doesn't have the, the opportunities and the chances to throw to guys that are open when teams take away your number one target. Let me, Cindy, put them back up there again. For those of you just joining us, I want to remind everybody – that everyone at this table but me think, no, I'm sorry, the, the, the game picks, if you will, uh, Sandy, I'm sorry I wasn't clear about that, but that, that's what everybody here thinks. Mm-hmm. Everyone but me thinks the Cowboys are going to lose based on that this defense. game. Mine's based on that defense. On which defense? On the Dallas defense, yeah. not being able to play well and playing on grass. And, but Tampa's know, offense stinks. Listen, They've been this, awful all year, yeah, Bart. Well, but look at, look at what the commanders were able to do against Dallas, right? Dallas hasn't really lit it up. This defense has come back to earth. And you talk about, you know, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers getting healthy at the right time. Aaron Hicks coming back, you know, means that they can maybe stop the run with a light box. They have more opportunities, and they're playing at home. And mm-hmm. all the pressure's on the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. The right? They're the one with the mandate. Listen, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are playing with house money. They have a Super Bowl in recent years, and they have a guy that knows how to get hot when it comes to most, and most people don't win playoff games. They lose them. I hear the way what- Dak Prescott is playing, he's playing losing football. Because if he throws a pick six and somebody hits their head on the goalpost because he hit him in a number, Numbers, then that means that the likelihood that they're going to lose are going to go up. I, that, that, no one can argue with that. All right. So, am I crazy or just plain stupid? Because they, the, the Dak hate 
is at an all time high. Wow. But hey, there's a reason why they play the game, and we'll see what happens on Monday night. And don't forget, tonight we'll be doing a live stream at 8 o'clock with Cop Pizzle, Philly 500, and a little old Rio. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, I'll see you guys later. Oh, Can we throw one down, man? Can we throw one ball? Yes. Yes. All right. wow. Dak is playing hell, like Dad? ass today. What the hell, Dak? Oh. Wow. 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 Okay, because this is the last time you were going to have any of that. Yeah. What was that? What was that? What was that? What was that?